This is a performance report on the Gomeco GP3 slip form paver and at Charles Verana and Son Construction Company of Omaha, Nebraska. The GP3 is 25 feet wide and is being fed by a Gomeco 9500 placer. Today we paved a nine inch slab, uh, 1600 feet, uh, 25 feet wide, curb on the right, edge on the left. Jared Ryan, Verana Project Superintendent. What is the overall project? Uh, we have a couple different widths as far as paving out here. Some, uh, some 42, some 25. And this machine will be using it for 21. We'll break the 42s in half or in, do 21 feet with the offset crown. The paver is equipped with a Gomeco 5400 series mold. On this project, the right-hand side has an integral curb in the new slab. We also visited with Don Sell, a Verana equipment manager. The, the edge, the curb, the, 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 the curb is the best curb I've seen in 20 years of paving. That, the, the curb profile in this machine is excellent. I mean, you get a full six inch curb. And, and we are running right now probably a two and a half to three inch slump. So it'll, it'll handle a fairly wet mud and still give you a real good crisp clean edge and tall curb. The 5400 series mold has telescoping end sections for quicker width changes. Yes, I spec'd it out to uh, 26 foot wide and uh, we got the mold with the telescoping end sections in it because we do a lot of paver width changes from one job to the next where we could be a one or two foot increments and just the versatility of uh, not having to drop that mold to make a paver width change and uh, you know it's just it's it's something you can do in an hour versus a half a day the 5400 series bar inserter is fed from the safety of the work bridge and inserts the bars in the front of the paver very comfortable we haven't had any issues with that bar inserter we keep it greased about every five, 10 minutes, we pump about four or five shots of grease into it and keep it real, real lubricated. So we like it, it's very compact. I mean, it works for us for transport. We don't have to take it off and on. And we can fold the machine up and legally haul it for width and height. All we do is fold the catwalk and the wings in and we're ready to go. I haven't seen it miss a bar all day. No, see, no not on any, any of the pores we've used it on. The left edge is slip forming a keyway for future additional lane expansion. The GP3 is slip forming the Gomeco edge. I like the versatility of the machine and the ease of mobility on site where you can counter rotate the machine right in its own tracks. You know, the slew drives on the steering and those pivot arms are phenomenal. I mean, it just gives you so much more room to negotiate that machine around a job site, especially as wide as we are with your, some of your construction limits that, I mean, it just makes it super handy. And to go from transport to paved mode, like I said, you know, you can do that in like 15 minutes. And we'll bring it out here off the end of this header. They'll wash it down. <clears throat> we'll fold it up and we'll track it back to the other end of the job. This has been a performance report on the Gomeco GP3 and Verana construction. Like I said, I mean, the technology of the machine is phenomenal. Ten years ago, I would have never, never thought of something like this. But it's come a long way. It has it? come a long way. Yeah. But it's no, the product, I can't say enough about support. I mean, Gomeco's been very helpful with us. This is our first Gameco paver and as far as the support goes, your techs are, you know, I mean they're they're on top of their game. They really, really and that they they'll do whatever it takes to 
to get it done. Gomeco, the worldwide leader in concrete paving technology.